Well, welcome to the 2023 uh, season of the Power Shed. Uh, this is Mailbag Monday. I guess it's Monday, and these were mailed to me. And uh, this wasn't free stuff. I had to buy both these power supplies. I buy power supplies like women buy shoes. Uh, usually I buy Xantrex, really nice things. But uh, as you can see, I don't have much of a workspace here in the Power Shed. And these are two very small power supplies. And if you look in the back, there's a little inverter that got damaged. Uh, I don't know. Uh, for some reason, I never even bothered to fix it because it was just so small. But uh, that provides DC. And uh, this power supply is running on uh, 160 volts DC. And it works pretty good. Uh, it's a 60 volt power supply. It's a Wanpatek uh, DPS 6005U. And I wanted to supply that large because uh, there's things I have to adjust up, you know, test. And uh, a 30 volt just doesn't quite do it. And when you operate them at 60 volts, this one only does about 51 volts. But uh, that's all right for what I'm doing. Uh, so anyways, this one came with the uh, voltage display reading all zeros. You know, it was advertised, uh, they had a picture there of the thing producing uh, four amps into a lithium cell and uh, zero volts. So I figured uh, it was a short somewhere or an SMD cap that shorted out. Uh, maybe the ribbon cable had a bad connection, bad solder connection. Could have been lots of things, but uh, the power supply worked and... Even if you didn't get the display to work, 36 bucks shipped. I mean, shipped, taxes, everything. So that's a pretty good deal. These normally sell for about $90. And it's really kind of nice. Uh, right over here is a switch for uh, overcurrent protect. And with that, uh, it actually shuts down the power supply when it sees overcurrent. Or... You can switch it back over here to uh, constant current, and you can just limit the amount of current going in. It's got the fine and coarse pots. Uh, kind of a nice little power supply. I mean, uh, it really is a nice power supply for the money. You know, it's not Xantrex. It's, it's you know, it's cheap stuff. And, you know, all you want to be techs, this is fully SMD, and so there isn't really much on this that could go bad that you'd have a, an easy time fixing. But for this problem, if you look up here at the red wire, and right below that, there's an SMD capacitor right above the connector. And uh, I measured on the uh, non-power supply section of that, and... Uh, it was 7 ohms, which seemed rather low. So let's get back here. So this is uh, what happened here. See, here's the red, red wire. And so it goes to this little resistor on the board. It's R64. I never measured the value, but right at this point here, the top wire to the ribbon connector, it was measuring uh, around 7 ohms. And, of course, uh, on the other end, it measures 7 ohms. So I decided I'd pull out the display board. Uh, I tried wiggling around the connectors to see if maybe that would do something. It didn't. But once I pulled out the, uh, the connector on the uh, display board, uh, it has a little bit of a glue attachment on it and so you have to go in there with a screwdriver and sort of break that film and then you can pull it apart well once i pulled it apart it wasn't shorted anywhere so this thing came from the factory uh, they were able to adjust it up because the calibration pot which is uh, on the display board i didn't have to change that one bit so the second connector here is ground so I don't know, maybe there was a tin whisker, a solder blob, I don't know what, but it worked at the factory, 
is shorted out later. And uh, after I removed the connector, the problem seemed to go away. So I cleaned between the two pieces and uh, put it back together. So if I ever see zeros, I'll know not to just hook something up because it could be 50 volts. But a darn nice little power supply for 36 volts. It's, it fits on the bench. And here's my other power supply I got. It's an, it's an HSPY, 120 volt and just one amp. But this is, a, you know, they call this a digital power supply, but, you know, it has digital meters. That's it. But this actually has an RS-232 input. Uh, this thing came, like I said, this was shipped, taxes, everything. This was 36 bucks. And what a deal. I mean, it looks like it just came out of the factory. It's, it's not a scratch on it. And uh, this has a nice digital display. It has a lot of things it can do. But, hell, 36 bucks. And this is really, I mean, that's a tiny power supply. It doesn't even have a fan. It's only 120 watts. But it's uh, good for setting up my uh, hot water boards. So uh, that's what's happened this week. I'll have to have some uh, newer stuff for you. Thanks for watching.